Today, it's all about the sand. In the days ahead, it may be all about the surge. We didn't think that Sally was going to come our way, and it did. Kathy Wheeler lives on the beach. She says Hurricane Sally left its mark. But with Delta, she's not taking any chances. It's a house that is two levels. You got an upper level and the lower level is where the water will come in, the surge. Coastal cities are now issuing a state of emergency, reminding and warning people that flooding from Delta could come in the form of a five to seven foot surge. If you live in a low-lying area based on what you experience with Sally, then you need to be really careful. Chris Herndon lives on Plash Island. Sally's surge was bad. Tonight, he's watching Delta closely. You never know what's going to happen. I mean, you just, you just never know. I mean, all you can do is pray and hope for the best. High schools in our area are moving along with a normal basketball season with some tweaks. As a team, obviously we're wearing the mask and we're sanitizing chairs and locker rooms and things like that. We're getting out there and we're preparing for the X's and O's just like any other day. A semblance of some normalcy is what Fairhope High School basketball coach Tori Johnson wants for her team. The challenge is to play this indoor sport safely. Assistant Superintendent Marty McRae, Baldwin County's school athletic director, says administrators know their schools and how to handle capacity was left up to each principal. I think they've all agreed they're going to be around that 250 mark, uh, at least in the high school level. All moves being made following guidance from the Alabama Department of Public Health and the state's high school athletic association. Moving high school sports indoors has been a divisive issue among public health officials and many doctors. Well, of course, we'd all love to be there to be at a, our son or daughter's basketball game um, and watch them succeed, but you still would also want to be able to be there for them in the long term. Let this be about the people it should be about, uh, and don't get your feelings hurt. Uh, about everybody can't get in there and watch them at one time. Rich Rogowski and his wife are open for business, but running this small teacher supply store in Daphne hasn't been easy. Early on during the pandemic, there were losses. Teachers weren't teaching and kids were not in school. Now a lot of your teachers don't want the older themes, they want the newer themes, so now you're stuck with a lot of the older inventory. Today that inventory is on sale to move it quick, and the new money announced by the governor comes at the perfect time. As far as your food industry, or your, your trinket stores, your hair salons, any of the businesses, your gyms, all going to feel the impact as much as we are. And again, if that availability or that grant money is out there, I think that is a fantastic thing, especially closing out the fourth quarter. Meet the volunteers on Team Rubicon. This is one unit among dozens of others who descended on the Gulf Coast to help with Hurricane Sally. There's about two uh, saw teams out here now. We do about six work work orders a day. The work is winding down now after two months and more than 200 homes and properties in Mobile and Baldwin County. But these volunteers, mostly veterans, are trained to never leave anyone behind and to finish the job, even as the holidays fast approach. There is always more work than there is people to do it. So kind of the call to action would be anyone that wants to get involved in this space. Veteran volunteers are part of strike teams with eight day assignments and they are flown in from all across the country. Some who have recently returned from active duty find a new home here and a new purpose with Team Rubicon. You go into the service, you're serving somebody, you're serving a community, a country. Uh, when you get out, you lose that. You don't have that ability anymore and you kind of struggle. A lot of folks struggle with the PTSD and things of that nature. Uh, Team Rubicon gives us that ability to serve again. It's a great organization for veterans and civilians alike. We're not just veterans, it's uh, civilians as well. So volunteer, if you have, uh, have the ability, you know, go on Team Rubicon, donate what you can. Identify with all the good things about our military service, but we can apply them and point them towards uh, helping the communities. That, I think that's what makes it attractive for a lot of veterans. You can go do construction out in the real world and get paid, and that's just hard work. Uh, you can volunteer maybe doing something, uh, handing out food or whatever, and that's hard work. But here we're able to fulfill both of those. Most of the houses here are on stilts like these, yeah. but because the land is so much lower here, so everything 
has to be built up more. Chris Richardson and Bruce Holmes are both from Mobile. Today they've come to inspect their second homes, houseboats both just feet away from being flooded. Everything along the upper Bryant Landing is built 18 feet or higher. The tent saw is expected to crest at right above 16 feet by Saturday. Where we're at, since we're floating, our concern is that the boat will stay in place because if it gets out of place, then you can have really terrifically bad things happen. We traveled about two miles south along the landing. You would never know there was a road beneath. When you got an expensive houseboat, you're gonna be concerned about it. Yeah, I'm always jittery until I get here and see that it's, that it's sitting level. And it was a sigh of relief for both of these men as they found their weekend getaways tied down and still floating. You can only guess when you're at home what's going on up here. Something's usually different when you come back because the river is so powerful and things will be moved. A way of life on the river, something people here deal with at least four times a year, twice in the spring and twice in the fall. Only this time, the water is at a 30-year high.